Hi, this is Stephen Poff with the 365 Days Project Video Podcast. And uh, I'm going to walk you guys through a few non-destructive editing techniques here. Um, I'm going to move fairly quickly here, so uh, you might want to uh, be prepared to pause and, and uh, rewind a little bit so you can follow along. What I'm going to do is, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a photo straight out the camera. It's okay, but um, I think it's a, it's a little bit red, a little bit saturated, and could use a little bit of adjustments. Um, so what I'm going to do though, I'm going to show you a little technique I like to use where I'm going to hit Control J, it makes a background copy of my layer, and I'm going to add a mask to it. This is coming to play later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with some blending modes here. Um, sometimes uh, overlay, um, it's blowing out my skin a little bit, I'm not so sure about that. Um, soft light, it's not too bad. Um, but it's still a little much. Let's see. Um, hard light. No. Uh, I'm going to go back to multiply because this is one I did a while back uh, for this photo and it seemed to work really well. So I'm going to use multiply now. Obviously this is, um, this is a bit too dark, but this is we're going to correct this. Also, because the contrast is a lot higher now because of that blending mode, we are going to have to dial down the saturation. So what I'm going to do, here's another non-destructive editing technique. I could go to image adjustments and go to hue and saturation but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a non-destructive layer but go and do adjustment layers uh, and then I'm going to add a hue saturation there. Now I'm just going to hit OK because what I want to do if you will hold down the alt key see how it turns into a little double bubble between these two layers here what that does is if I click there, it means that that uh, adjustment layer will only affect the layer below it and not the one below that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on here again. I'm going to dial down the saturation until my skin tones are a little more, a little more in line there. Okay. Now obviously this is a bit dark. Now I'm going to go through this pretty fast. Um, usually what I do is I, I'm going to click on these, uh, this. Uh, mask right here that's on layer one and anything that I paint black is going to hide this layer and anything I paint white will bring it back so this is non-destructive I mess something up I can always switch colors and, and bring it back so um, I'm going to use a, a, a brush that with low opacity around between 10 to 15 that's okay and I've also dialed down the flow here to about 70 um, and I'm going to uh, use a, a soft brush and I usually start out with a fairly, uh, a brush maybe the size of my, just about the size of my face. And I'm going to kind of paint over this a few times till I start seeing my highlights. Now see this builds up. This, this isn't immediately, uh, it doesn't immediately erase everything. So it, it just starts, um, it just builds this up. I'll go down a little more. All right. Now that I've got uh, this side on on right over here, the the highlights of my face are starting to come out good. I'm going to dial it down. I'm going to. You can use the bracket keys to make your brush smaller uh, or bigger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. Right back key makes it bigger. And I'm just going to build this area up right here. I'm just going to paint it a few times, and you can see that it's bringing out the shadows there besides my eye. Um, take some shadows beside my nose and the shadow over here on my left hand side now I would normally maybe work on this for about 15-20 minutes but um, you get the idea so what this is this is an alternative to dodging and burning this is a non-destructive way of doing this because um, dodging and burning would um, immediately, I mean, you know, once you're done, you can't go back unless you're using a history brush and you can only go back so far on that. Um, but you can see we're starting to, I like to also go up here and bring out the highlights on, uh, on my hair. This is usually good for ladies. It's also good. Uh, I like, I got a little product in my hair. I kind of like to build that up. Anyway, um, and you can see the difference here. It's starting to, starting to look a lot cooler. And I'm just kind of painting with light. I'm bringing the, the highlights out. Now, I could do this a few more times, but I'll show you the end product we ended up with here. Um, I also did, a, um, I did another adjustment layer, and I, uh, I messed around with the, um, the, 
uh, the saturation and uh, and also the color balance here and you can see that this is a lot different than what we started out oh, bring it up. than what we started out with over here drag this out for you put them side by side this is that's the original and this is where I went with it. So you can see though that those adjustment layers, um, you know, help me to. Uh, it, it was non-destructive, and if I need to change anything later, I could still change it without uh, having to, you know, having to go back and start all over again. So I hope that helped you guys out, give you a little insight on some of my my technique there, and and maybe to help you with your Photoshop technique. So uh, for the 365 Days Project video podcast, this is uh, Stephen Poff, and we'll see you next week.